Hi friends. You can say hi friends. Hello, hello, hi. <laughs> That's right. Malcolm says hi too. Okay, friends. Today's story, we're going to go up, up, up in the sky with a story from Up Badge Building. And we're going to see how many badges we can collect and earn. Russell loved collecting badges. There were there was just one tiny problem. There weren't enough. But that was about to change. Okay, Campster Strouch began. This is your chance to go down in Wilderness Explorer history. Each troop has been asked to submit a new Wilderness Explorer badge idea and will hold a contest in two weeks. To enter, provide a description of your badge, an image of what it will look like, and proof that you have completed the work required to earn that badge. Russell's face lit up. A chance to earn a badge that he invented himself? Oh, he had to win the contest. Russell couldn't wait to get started, but he also wasn't sure what kind of badge to design. What do you think? Russell asked Carl and Doug later in the day. There are so many choices. I could take care of a, of a rescue animal or build a birdhouse or Doug pushed a book over to Russell with his nadis, his nose. Good memory, friends. Hmm, Russell said, looking at the book. Paleontology? It means finding bones, Carl explained. Oh, bones, Doug cried, panting happily. I know where bones are. Russell looked at Carl and shrugged. Paleontology did seem interesting. Okay, Doug, he said. Paleontology it is. Russell started right away on his new Wilderness Explorer badge idea. First, he did his research. He learned that looking for bones was called doing a dig, and that the bones were called fossils. The next day, he learned what went into preparing for a dig, what tools he would need, and how scientists determined the age of the fossils they found. And finally, he was ready to stage his own dig. Okay, Doug, Russell said, lead the way. Doug led Russell and Carl to the local park. Here, he said, find the bone, find the bone, find the bone, find the bone. Uh, Doug, Russell started, are, are you sure this is a, are you sure? This is a playground. Doug enthusiastically wagged his tail. Bones are here, bones are here. I have found the bones. Russell still wasn't sure, but he decided to trust Doug and he and Carl carried their equipment over to a large oak tree and began to dig. A few minutes later, Russell spotted something in the ground. Hey, he shouted. Doug was right. There are bones here. Russell knelt down and brushed the dirt away. Ever so carefully, he pulled the bone from the ground. Doug, he said, this isn't a fossil. This is one of your bones. Doug happily spun around in circles. I'm a good tracker. I'm a good tracker. I have found the bone. Carl laughed. <laughs> well, he, we did tell him we were looking for bones. Russell sat down on the bench and put his head in his hands. Now what am I going to do? He asked. I can't dig up the whole city looking for fossils. Carl sat down next to Russell. No. Probably not, he said. I don't think those old fuss budgets at Town Hall would like it if you kept digging holes in their city. Paleontology is a great idea for a badge, but maybe it should wait until you have the time to do it right. There must be something else you could try. Russell knew Carl was right. I'll get you some in a little bit. He may, have, he may have lost some time, but he hadn't lost his determination to win. Now he just needed to figure out a new badge. Hmm. What badge ideas do you have for Russell? 
What ideas? Very cool. Mm -hmm. Russell came up with an idea. Came, Russell came up with idea after idea, but nothing seemed right. Astronomy was interesting, but he didn't have time to properly track the stars. He thought about farming or agriculture, but he couldn't raise livestock in the city. And besides, Doug had eaten all the seeds. Russell considered building a robot, but all the robotics books were checked out of the library. And detective work sounded exciting. But try as they might, Russell and Doug couldn't find anything to investigate. You know, Carl said, maybe one of those ideas Maybe none of these are ideas are working because they don't mean anything to you. Is there anything you really want to learn more about? Hmm, Russell said, pulling a chocolate bar out of his pocket and taking a bite. I'm not sure. We've never solved a mystery or built a robot. But that, Carl said, pointing at Russell's chocolate bar, is something we know you are interested in. Mr. Fredrickson, you're a genius, Russell declared. I love chocolate more than anything in the whole world. The next day, Carl picked up Russell and Doug, and the three made their way to a local bakery. This is Roger, Carl said, introducing Russell to the owner of the shop, who happens to be... In a little bit who happened to be a baker and a chocolatier, it just so happens that Roger knows everything there's to know about chocolate and owes me a favor. Roger shook Russell's hand, then he handed Russell and Carl their very own aprons and chef's hats. You'll need these, you'll need these, he said. Come on back, I hope you don't mind getting a little messy. All morning, Roger and, Roger thought Russ, Roger taught Russell about making chocolate Russell learned that chocolate started out with a cocoa bean. The bean was roasted and crushed before it being mixed with things like sugar, vanilla, and milk. He even got to try mixing the ingredients together to make his own chocolates. Then came the really fun part, using the chocolate that they had made together. Roger taught Russell, Carl, and Doug how to make all sorts of different desserts, from chocolate cupcakes with chocolate frosting to chocolate cream pie. And even better, Russell got to taste everything as they baked. No chocolate for me, Doug said, just bones. And the next day was the contest. Russell looked around at his competition. Everyone had come up with great ideas. There was a woodworking badge, a roller coaster design badge, a movie making badge, and even a badge called the Night Owl. Earning that one meant staying up all night to Mama find and an identify nocturnal animals. Mama In a little bit, after story, we'll get tablet. Finally, it was Russell's turn to present his badge. I call it the Chocolate Lover's Badge, he said. In order to earn it, you have to learn how chocolate is made, make your own batch, and make three different types of chocolate desserts. <laughs> Campster Staunch walked around the room looking at all the entries and then moved to the front of the room to announce the winner. Carl put his hand on Russell's shoulder. You did good, he said. Next to Russell, Doug wagged his tail. Win the badge, win the badge, oh win, 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 win the badge, he said happily. Russell cut mm. into a piece of chocolate Down. pie and took a bite. Mmm, is that good, he said. Thank you both for helping me. Just then, there was a cheer from across the room. The roller coaster badge had won. Oh. Carl ah. clapped Russell on the shoulder. I'm proud of you anyway, and you should be proud. Yeah. But now that I've but now that I've lost, I don't feel so bad about it. Yeah. I got to learn all about something I love with you. And that's worth way more than winning a contest. Besides, building a roller coaster sounds like fun. I can't wait to earn the badge. The end. Wow! Russell was able to learn and make chocolates, and he was able to create his very own badge. <laughs> well, friends, that's all the time we have for right now. 
But you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. That's that window. We can see that window. Can you say bye-bye to my friends? Say bye-bye. 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 Okay, bye-bye. I have a mug and tablet.